Hey everyone, this is Brad from DevOps Journey and today we're going to have a look at how you can get Docker desktop for Windows and this is the best way to get Docker running on a Windows workstation. Docker desktop for Windows has actually seen a lot of improvements over the years, so if you tried to install it before and didn't have much success, you should stick around to the end of this video and just see how easy and convenient Docker has become for Windows. I use it all the time for development and it's been really great for me. So let's go ahead and get Docker Desktop installed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to the Docker Desktop website and download the latest stable release. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up and you'll need to enable WSL2 at this point. And if you're wondering what WSL is, it's Windows Subsystem for Linux version number two. And if you're a developer on Windows, this is something that you should be installing anyways. And basically what this is, is a compatibility layer for Windows to run Linux binaries natively. So I have other videos that go into detail on how to get WSL installed, as well as setting up a Linux virtual machine, Ubuntu, natively on Windows 10. So if you're interested in that, please check out those videos. But in this video, we're just going to briefly go over how to get it installed and how to check a few things in regards to WSL. So once your installation completes, go ahead and reboot your system. And once your system's back up and running, it's going to give you a pop-up asking you to complete your WSL kernel installation. Go ahead and click the link in that pop-up. It's going to bring you to the Microsoft WSL documentation, which will lead you through all the necessary steps to complete the installation. So let's have a look at this here together. So the first step is to just download and install the latest WSL2 kernel update. So download it and launch the installer. After that, just click through the installation and restart your computer. All right, so once your computer is restarted, go ahead and launch Docker Desktop from the icon. And you should be greeted with a screen similar to this one. This is the Docker desktop console. And you can just copy this into your clipboard. And if you're getting a tutorial, feel free to go through it or just skip it and uh, copy this command into your clipboard. And then go ahead and pull up a terminal here and paste it in. So I'll paste it in here. And we can see a Docker container was created. If I do a docker ls, if I do a docker ps, I mean, we can see the containers created. But what's even better is we can use the docker desktop utility and we get a real-time GUI view of the docker container. So let's have a look at it here. So we can see that it has the name, it's from the docker slash getting started, and it's running on port 80. And we click it, we can see the logs, we can inspect it and get any sort of stats on the CPU usage, memory, etc. So it's a very user-friendly way to manage Docker containers, even for a Windows user. And you can see that you have direct access to the CLI of Docker. So lots of different utilities here. So one thing you may have noticed when I turned up that Docker container, I actually did it from a Linux shell. And this is actually an Ubuntu machine on my Windows computer using WSL2. So let's have a look at how I did that. If we go into the settings of Docker Desktop and then go under Resources and WSL Integration, I have WSL2 integrated. So if you want to do the same, make sure you have this checked. And if you have a WSL VM installed, this should automatically be here to turn on. If not, all you need to do is go to the Windows Store and search for your favorite flavor of Linux. And then go ahead and click Get. And this will install the Linux WSL VM. And you'll be able to use a Linux machine directly from Windows. And things like Docker Desktop will make use of that Linux environment. After it's installed, you can hit Launch. And this is going to open up the shell to that Ubuntu machine. And then you just create a username, create a password, and this is your shell. 
And if you ever want to access it again, just search in Windows and then type the name and then you'll be able to open it from there. Also, if you're using Windows Terminal, you can access all your WSL environments from there. So anyways, that's all I really wanted to mention about WSL. Um, so you can use Docker desktop natively with Windows, or you can integrate it with WSL. And I find it works a lot better because it starts using Linux binaries for everything. And it just runs the Docker engine a lot better. So anyways, that's all I really have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you want to see more content in regards to DevOps or how to get into DevOps, please subscribe to my channel. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.